guys so welcome back to going medieval so we're on our last day for uh, the, the season and uh, we got um, a lot of stuff done today or not today but like this season we started with the um, library that took a few episodes to actually complete and it turned out really good we got some book storage up at the, the loft there and some two stories of actual crafting room and stuff like that. We also worked on the dining and kitchen which turned out really well. Um, we still have to decorate the interior of the kitchen area but for the most part that's done. And then we also worked on the church which doubles as kind of like a place for people to sleep when there's not enough room as well as entertainment and the actual church area itself so um, that was really a big project to work on because it required so much stone but we got that done and we worked on some other minor things like these buildings here and I want to finish this building today and get that all sorted out. We also have that raid that's going to happen. Uh, we also worked on some seed vaults uh, for storing our seeds a little bit better. So those are a really critical thing. We still need to build one more, but probably not going to have time today to do that. Um, what else did we work on? We worked on the marketplace, which is over here. Turned out pretty good. And... What else did we work on? We worked on that. We worked on the crafting building. That was our most recent one. And I think we also worked on the uh, Bard's house as well. A small little tiny project, but still a nice little one. And yeah, uh, we moved our logging farm and worked on the farm itself. I think this is brand new. It's pretty good. I'm happy with the progress that we've made so far. I mean, it's doing really good. And we worked on a bits of the wall as well. But uh, that's going to take a long time to uh, finish, I think. <laughs> but I wanted to get this part done and finished so we can work on other things uh, next season or whenever we do get around to playing this game again. So, And, um, yeah. We'll try to get people moved in today into this place, and we'll take it from there. But we need to get some of the flooring and stuff built first. And then that raid's probably going to happen pretty soon.
Alright guys, so we got uh, something in the works. Uh, this will be our next project for Season 3 and what I wanted to do was they introduced a prisoner system for going medieval. Now, we don't actually, we didn't take part in the paddle and there is some requirements for that to, for prisoners to actually surrender and stuff, but um, what would happen is we would, we can't build the, the wall, um, or at least they can't do that when we win the battle. So there can't be a wall here when there's the battle, uh, from what I understand. So what I wanted to do was, um, because this is close to the entrance and stuff, I want to put the blacksmith over on this side as well. So I was thinking what we could end up doing is making a two-story building, uh, well three in including the, the basement that we're going to be digging out. And what I wanted to do was put a like six prisoner cells down at the bottom here. Maybe more, I'm not sure just yet how many I want to fit in here uh, specifically, but I was thinking like maybe uh, maybe about that many. Uh, we could probably fit even one, two, three, four, five, ten at the most. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but uh, what I wanted to do was mine out all this area and then basically get that built. Now I'm going to leave a sign for me um, by the end of the episode so I know what this project's going to be because I, I just started it. So um, yeah, it's going to be like probably best to leave a note for myself just so I know what what I was planning and stuff like that and then what's gonna be on top is the blacksmith and we're probably gonna have the I'm just trying to think uh, blacksmith and then probably the armor above it so we'll be moving these two buildings over and then that will open up this space, which we can put another building like this on the other side. Um, probably without the basement though. And what we can do is we can put the medical place over there and... I think that should be good. Maybe a armory? Uh, armory and medical place. I think that would be good on the opposite side. And then that way everyone is localized for what we need on this side over here. Um, now we do have some options for uh, if we do do dig out a basement then what we could do is we could
Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these little alleyways uh, for this area. And this will act as is kind of like a little uh, entranceway to these little places and stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and have the um, ice making boxes over here uh, because they're only they only take like two spots up and then that will leave a little bit of room at the end and then we when we actually make our entrances and stuff what I'm, what I'm what I'm thinking is having the entrances off of these alleyways so we'll have like a little um, uh, kind of area that we can walk into uh, or at least one entrance of it I'm not sure if we'll have that as all of them, but, you know, it'll be a nice little area to go down, I think. So, kind of like a little side street. And I was just wanted to go ahead and finish setting up the uh, bricks here. I might have to move these. I'm not sure just yet. Can I actually access that from this side? Yes, I can. Okay, good. I'll probably have to do one at a time, but as long as I can place that extra detail work underneath it, it should be fine. <laughs> Didn't really think of that when I was putting in the thing. It was kind of like a last minute thought to do it this way. All right. And then we'll have this wrap around. Now it's supposed to be a dead end. I don't want people to go through here unless they're going into the building or whatever. Um, trying to make this as a own, its own little area. So, but I do want a main street going through here uh, from this area over to the other side. And I think I'll put another arch over on this side that will. Um, you'll go through. So you'll go through an arch here and then you'll go through another arch there and kind of separate the two buildings. And then you'll have the alleyway in between. I think that's what I'm going to do for the um, decoration and stuff. And then the prison's obviously going to be on that side. Armory and medical. And I'm not sure what we will put down there. We could probably put the donkeys down there maybe. Actually speaking of which, our donkeys aren't doing that well. Um, we only have one female left, and everyone else is like males. So if we want to um, keep our eye open for another female, that would probably be good. Alright, so we got a lot done today. We got that building built. I sent out a caravan. I traded with a faction and we were able to get 
uh, some resources uh, from the trade as well. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with our major projects that we worked on. We worked on the kitchen, dining room, um, crafting, couple crafting buildings, a church, and these little condo places over here. We also built the library, so that's like huge major projects that uh, took a lot of the season to do and we got all the research done as well so if we go to the research tab uh, you can see that we got all of this done and everything's unlocked so when we come back to the game in a future season we'll be all caught up in research and we'll be able to start working on new features and stuff like that outside of that if you missed the nat last um season poll for what game I should play next. You can join my Discord server for the next one and get uh, allow enable the news notifications for the gaming channel. And if you do that, then you'll be notified when there is a new season poll. And then that way you don't miss out on a notification for when a poll goes live again. And I've noticed that a lot of people aren't voting for the the game that I should be playing next and I'm almost wondering if the notifications aren't um, getting out there to as many people through YouTube directly so um, Discord's definitely a possible alternative for getting notifi notifications but if that's something in your alley then definitely head over to the Discord server link is in the description of my video and I'm going to back up the save make sure that it's all good to go um, and I will see you guys next season when Stardew Valley. So see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Peace out.